Have you no manners, lad? Stop staring at me. Oh, was I staring? <laughs> so sorry. Oh, don't mind me, love. I get rather crotchety on an empty stomach. D does that mean you're going to incinerate me then? Incinerate you? Oh my, aren't you the foxy one? <laughs> I haven't created any fire since my last mating season <laughs> and you don't want to know how many centuries ago that was. <laughs> no, 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 that's much too much heat for me these days. You mean you can't breathe fire? Can't. Let's just say I won't. Just between you and me, love, the stuff gives me the eebie-jeebies. <laughs> That's uh, quite a bit of gold you have there. That? Oh, that's nothing compared to what it used to be. Piled floor to ceiling it was. Everyone said it was the most beautiful lair anywhere, and right they were too. Then one day, last spring it was, comes along this third-rate wizard who botched up everything. He tried to get the volcano to blow, but only shook up the place in a huge earthquake instead. <laughs> Broke all my fancy glass, mind you, and made off with most of the gold too. The only thing he left me was a gorgeous glass ball. Can't take your eyes off me, can you? Put it back the way you found it, now. Hmm. I guess that is...
Guess I won't be going back that way. My own reflection. Mandible. What in the world is he up to? Hmm, repair costs must be spiralling.